Well, very good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the beautiful Cotswold village of Snows Hill, otherwise known locally as Snozzle or Snorzel. This is quintessentially English Cotswolds, a quiet little village surrounded by a village green with its own lovely church of St Barnabas. You may recognise this view from Bridget Jones's diary which is a film that was made all oh, must be 15 years ago and uh, there's a famous scene at Christmas time when um, Bridget Jones is dragged to the annual parents turkey buffy curry boxing day treat and all of this area was filmed as if it was in uh, Christmas time and it was all snowy of course, in reality, it was filmed in July, but it looked absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's also famous, of course, for the Snozzle Manor, which was bought by Charles Paget Wade in the early 1900s. And he was an eccentric collector. And he filled the house with over 22,000 items, bicycles, samurai armor kits, toys, and yeah, it's open to the public now, it's owned by National Trust. There's the fantastic Snozzle Arms pub. As always, I find the pub on my travels and we'll be going there later for a well-earned pint. It's the warmest day we've had this year. It's 30 degrees, but it's still very quiet. So come with me, let's go and walk around Snows Hill or Snozzle. I'll tell you a little bit about the history and then we'll pop over, the, hopefully, if you've got time and see the manor. Let's, let's explore Snizzle. Absolutely perfect day. Not a cloud in the sky. I've just timed it right. Many of my travels, you'll notice it's grey. The weather's not been great in England, but today is amazing. And I just had to come out and where better than to come to Snows Hill. Look at this, fantastic time of year. It's July the 19th, height of English summer. And this is really what it's all about. Look at this view. I'm just hoping you're getting it on the camera. I've got a remote microphone, so I'm hoping that it's a bit clearer, but yeah you've just got to come here it's fantastic Unbelievable, look at that house, at the top of the village. Tremendous gardens, little veranda there, roses growing around the door. 
I'm not sure how old it is, but it's obviously in the traditional Cotswold style. Absolutely tremendous. And this is where the village sort of ends. It's very small. We'll just go up to this building here. Even the garages are built in the Cotswold stone style, aren't they? I just swing round. Oh, a nice bit of shade up there. Prospect House. That looks a bit more modern. But again, everything's built in traditional Cotswold style. Nothing is going to spoil this village. Have you ever seen a nicer view than this? With the church of St Barnabas, which is actually Victorian. Obviously built over a sign of an original church. No one knows who built it. But it still has some um, earlier medieval and, and uh, 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 middle ages uh, um, items in there. But the actual building, was re the church was rebuilt in the 1800s, Victorian. Get the old car coming down, aren't there many? The name Snozzle or Snozzle was mentioned in 1086 in the Doomsday Book. And there it was spelt Snozzle with a, a Z. I'll put the um, spelling below. But yeah, it's been here for since the 9th century. The manor house was owned by the, um, by the, by the local um, abbey. Um, that I've mentioned before. I'll put the name of that there as well. And yeah. It's very near Broadway, this village, but it's off the beaten track, so you don't get the crowds. I mean, look at it today, it's almost empty. It's a perfect day, it's Friday afternoon. And I've got this pretty much to myself. It's unbelievable. Hope the sun's not getting in your eyes too much. It's a bright day, but yeah.
beautiful churchyard and just beautiful views I can't get enough of this it's just a fantastic village setting I'm not sure which cottage was in Bridget Jones's diary one of these here if I can remember and watch the film I'll point it out on the video but all this was snow and it just looked absolutely idyllic if you haven't watched the film go and watch it Bridget Jones's diary it's a very funny film brilliant actors typical English comedy rom-com absolutely stunning nice cross there imagine living here you think you've gone to heaven and when you die you're buried here and you stay in heaven look at that absolutely out of this world I could stay here forever but I want to go and have that pint soon so we're just going to pan round see the countryside in the background it's surrounded by rolling hills it's said that uh, if it snows in the Cotswolds you're guaranteed to get snow here first because of its high elevation hence one of the reasons it's called Snow's Hill it's on a hill and it gets the snow although as I said in the uh, Doomsday book it was actually called Snow's Hill and locals call it Snozzle but it's a good story okay let's pop down here and uh, hopefully the church is open as I say it's Victorian um, and no one knows who built it but I'm sure it's got some interesting things inside well I know it has because I've been doing a bit of research on it so let's go and have a look I'll just switch the camera off while I negotiate the gates and then we'll go inside see you in a moment
So, that's the village. I'm hoping we get time to go to the manor. I might make a separate video, or I might just go in the gardens because I don't have a normal slot of battery left. And the gardens are fantastic this, year, this time of year. And we don't want to show you all the ornate um, plants. So I might pop in here for a quick pint and then we'll go to the gardens. And on another day, maybe in the winter time when it's less busy, shall we go to the manor then? Let's have a look. Let's go over here and let's pop into the Snows Hill or Snozzle Arms. Uh, not sure how you get in. I'm sure we'll find a way. I'll see you in a minute. Looks a nice place. I think you get in here through those doors there. I'll see you in a second. Here we go. The Snows Hill Snozzle Arms. Bar meals, traditional Donington ales. Sounds perfect to me. Well, that was a lovely pint of Donington's Real Ale. I must admit, I really enjoyed that. That was at the Snozzle Arms over there. What a wonderful pub. If you get a chance, as I say, right by the uh, green, you've seen this already, so I won't dwell too much, but we're gonna leave the village and it's about 10 minute walk up this road here. And we're gonna head to Snowsall Manor. As I say, this was bought by Charles Paget in the uh, early 1900s. And he stashed it full of amazing artifacts, 22,000. Oh, someone's on the move. Let these cars go by. There's a lovely building there. Look at that. Yeah, he stuffed it full of artifacts. Bicycles, toys, samurai armour. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he, it was bought by the National Trust. And it's a fantastic place. Um, amazing garden. Just going to pop over there. Look at that view there. So let's rejoin ourselves because battery is a little bit low. I'm just trying to capture this lovely house here. Let's go to the manor, see what Charles Paget Way did. Um, and that particular, I want to look at the gardens because it's such a lovely day. I don't want to be inside. I'd rather just uh, use the time left to show you the innate gardens which were done in the arts and crafts style absolutely stunning i believe so uh look at these lovely pink flowers i don't know what they are anybody know put it in the comments but yeah this really is one of the most beautiful villages i have ever seen it's absolutely beautiful so we're on the edge of Snows Hill, Snozzle, Snozzle. One more shot of this quaint little place, I think barn it's called. Let's have a look, what's it called? Lamb Cottage, there you go, Lamb Cottage. Look at that. I'll see you soon, bye for now. So we've arrived at the gardens and the manor house of Snozzle. I'm going to make a separate video and show you the gardens in more detail because the video is getting quite long and I want to go and see the house because I bought a ticket. So just to show you what the house looks like, it's a fantastic manor house owned by the National Trust but at one time owned by Charles Paget Wade. I'll talk to you about more about it in the next video but just to end this video, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the visit of Snowsville Village and I'll see you for the next video where we go inside that house and we explore these gardens on a lovely sunny summer afternoon in England. So thanks for watching this video and please click on the next video that's coming up very soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.